Hey everybody, Pinchy08 here. So I believe it's been probably about two days since I got back from Disney World and I'm now ready to show you my, well, Disney World haul. You remember how I did my very first haul review from when I went to Target and bought those monster trucks and those Fine and Dory characters? Well, here's another haul video, this time of all the things I bought at Disney World, so... I bought them at three locations. One of them would be the gift shop at our All-Star Sports Resorts we stayed at. The two figures that you see behind are, um, uh, were purchased at the biggest gift shop in Epcot called Mouskier. And these two were purchased at the Main Street Emporium in the Magic Kingdom. So we're going to start off with the um, uh, All-Star Sports Resort. <clears throat> I'll start over here with Little Mermaid Ariel. Very, very pretty ornament. I'm very glad that she's been on my tree and everything, but I brought her down to show all of you. So here she is. I'll be putting her back up very, very soon. And then as you can see, I've got a few um, uh, Christmas Mickey and Minnie Mouses. I'll start with the smaller ones right over here. So I think these are relatively new to the um, uh, Disney market where they're very small like that. Smaller ones were also very good for you to put up on the tree like an ornament. But I don't know if these will be making a sign-up series for my Christmas um, uh, sign-up series soon. What I meant to say was sign-up series appearance. That's what I meant to say because you know I put Mickey and Minnie Mouse in the audience. But I think these two are a little bit too small to be in the audience. But I do have a perfect set which would be these two over here. They kind of look like, well... From the old-fashioned days, so I call them vintage Mickey and Minnie dressed in their Christmas attires like that. And what's really cute about them, if you look very closely at Minnie Mouse's cheeks, see how they're red? Blushing red? That's very cute. I believe Mickey is supposed to have that too, but his cheeks are hardly as blush as Minnie's. I think females are meant to have more blushier cheeks than the males. So I think that's normal. So here's a closer look at Vintage Mickey. And a closer look at Vintage Minnie. They're very cute, aren't they? I've always wanted to have plushes of Mickey and Minnie Mouse with blush cheeks like that. That's very, very cute. Okay, and now we're going to move on to the figure sets. This one being pretty much, well, starting to become my favorite from that popular film called Zootopia if you ever heard of that and I'm about to give out everybody's name in this box so I'm afraid to say that if you haven't seen the movie yet spoiler alert please stop watching right now so I'm sure if some of you have seen the movie you recognize these one of these main characters which is that rabbit named Judy Hopps and the fox named Nick Wilde and that one that looks like an elephant is really not an elephant. According to the product description I'm looking at, we call him Ely Fig... I'm a Fig something. Maybe we'll call him Ely Figgin. I'm a Finnick. Yeah, Ely Finnick we'll call him. He's some kind of other species in the movie who was wearing that elephant costume and kind of cute with that giant, um, uh, popsicle. And I can't tell what kind of species that little rodent is. Kind of looks like a, mo a mole or something with no eyes. Because if you've seen the movie, yeah, there is a little rodent area. And I gotta tell you, if you've seen the movie hearing about Mr. Biggs, if any of you thought it was one of those really big polar bears, that's where you're wrong. This is Mr. Biggs, we call him. That was so funny that they called, that they gave this little rodent a um, uh, a big name known as Mr. Biggs. Okay, and if you see that sheep um, uh, character, we call her um, uh, Bellwether. Well, she was supposed to be the assistant's mayor, but it turns out she's the culprit of trying to turn every predator in Zootopia back to bad. We see another um, uh, rabbit in here. I can't tell if that's another young rabbit, or I think she does have the same eyes as Judy Hopp, so... We'll just consider her like the young Judy. And I think this guy over here is the funniest character ever. We call him Flash, but he's really a sloth. 
one of the slowest animals on earth okay we're gonna move on back here so if you see that really weird character we call him yaks and then the biggest character we got in the back is one of the mares which is like a lion we call him mare like we call him like mare lionheart i believe yeah that's it mare lionheart and he was the one sitting at the desk at the um, uh, zpd or zootopia police department we call him Benjamin Clawhauser. I think that's it. Yeah, Benjamin Clawhauser. So this is my Zootopia um uh, um uh, character um uh, set, and I'm also still a huge Star Wars fan. So this is my character set for the upcoming film that's probably about to release this Friday, December sixteenth, known as Star Wars Rogue One, and. Boy, can I not wait to see that. And I don't really th that much know everybody's name yet, except for the one way back there, which is Darth Vader. Because the truth about this upcoming Star Wars film is that it's supposed to be a bit of a prequel that takes place between Star Wars Episodes 3 and then 4. So, I'm sure you'll be looking forward to seeing this movie and really begging to get this set. But, I got it even before the movie comes out. Okay, and here's my Magic Kingdom haul. And yes, you guessed it. I found another baby Dory. And you can see she's actually a little bit bigger than the one I found at Target right here. Of course, if you're able to look at the tags here, you can see that this story, baby Dory, was made by a company in Japan called Bandai. But I'm pr very proud Bandai was able to help me out with this, but... This baby Dory is definitely an official genuine 100% Disney um, uh, um, uh, plush. So I think I'm really going to enjoy this baby Dory more than ever. So here she is along with my other Finding Dory characters way over here. And then here's another ornament I found at the Main Street Emporium. If you've ever been to the Magic Kingdom entryway to that hub at the castle, this is the statue you'd be most likely seeing of Walt Disney himself with Mickey Mouse. And I gotta say, I had to have it, because this is really a work of art. I mean, look at this. You're seeing Mickey Mouse with his creator, Walter Elias Disney. Isn't that awesome? So, I believe that's everything. So, that's my Disney World haul. So... I hope you enjoyed that very, very much, and I will get back to you someday, and probably that next time will probably be my Christmas haul and my um, uh, Christmas sign-up series. So, thank you very much for watching. This is Pinchy08, signing out.